Salam um, a question from my uh, panel. Um, is, is commemorating Mawlid restricted to Rabi al Awwal? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'in. Um, what does it mean to commemorate the Mawlid of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Because the Mawlid, the birth of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the ulama, that's, it's known, it's the greatest moment in the history of mankind at the birth of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam can never be reduced to a moment of his life. His whole life, the whole 63 years he spent on this earth, the blessed, and, and he's still alive, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Every moment is, is a blessing. And to commemorate the Mawlid of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to commemorate the life of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the best way to commemorate the life of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to follow his example. Because لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا That indeed for you in the Messenger of Allah is the best of examples. And he's an example and that's how you, you, you bring his example to life is the commemoration of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that whosoever holds on to my sunnah in times of tribulation and hardship, they will have the reward of a hundred martyrs. And in another narration, he mentions that the end of times, there will be, it will be so severe the situation that holding on to the religion will be like holding on to hot coal. And they said, he said, that whoever does good deeds then will have the reward of 50 people. And the Sahaba said, 50 people. And he said, not just 50 people, 50 of you. <coughs> like the Sahaba, they want Allah Ta'ala alayhi wa And that's why Imam Malik says that the Ummah will only be rectified by that which rectified the early generations. And that's why for us, commemorating the life of the Prophet ﷺ is consistently holding on to the Sunnah, doing things like the Prophet ﷺ did. Maybe not in exactly the same way he did, but in the spirit that the Prophet ﷺ would carry things out. And that's why one of my favorite hadith is the Prophet is speaking to the Khadim, his beloved servant Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And he says to Anas, you know, that if you can go to sleep and wake up every night and every morning without having resentment in your heart for anybody, then do so. Because if you do so, then وَذَلِكَ مِنْ sunnati. This is from my way. And whosoever brings my way to life, وَمَنْ أَحْيَا sunnati فَقَدْ أَحَبَّنِي Whoever brings my sunnah to life, he loves me. Whosoever loves me sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be with me in paradise. And we pray that Allah Azza wa Jal makes us people who commemorate the life of the Prophet sallam, the movement of the Prophet sallam, and inshallah will make us people who will be with the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in paradise.